Hi and welcome to another how to video. In the month of April we are going to do about pencils. I am sure that many of you will know an HB pencil. It's a black and yellow one that you will have used when you were in school when you were really small and our children, my children now, are taught how to use um, how to write really by using the HB pencil. As far as pencils go, it's maybe it's a bit of a hybrid. It's neither soft lead nor hard lead, so it's 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 used for you know writing and a few drawings. But in terms of like a high skill pencil, it's not the finest. But anyway, we I use pencils all of the time, and that is why I really want to just um show you how great pencils can be. I'm going to teach you different techniques over the next month and also just to tell you why art, um, why pencils are so relative to art today. Um, I finish off every one of my pictures with a graphite pencil which is a big solid piece of pencil. Graphite is the centre of every pencil that you use. Right back in the 1500s, the Romans used a stylus, which was a type of inscriber that they used to write on the walls to communicate and to tell stories. And then, fast forward a little bit, that was whenever they realised um, that we could encompass the lead into a wooden shell. And this wood is, it's over in California, there's the trees, it's a cedar tree. And that is the wood that is used to encompass the majority of pencils that we use today. And the pencils that you will often see if someone has bought you an art kit or if you've just had pencils lying about that someone's given you and said like I don't need those anymore, they will often come, more than often they will come with B's, there will be a B side and there will be an H side. That's why I like to look at it. It's basically your hard, H is for hard pencils, B is for the bold soft lead. So a B will always be darker. The, the graphite that's in a B pencil and all the different numbers of a B pencil is a softer lead so they will often be be sharpened more often and you will get a darker a darker smear whenever you add it to your page. Unlike with the H pencil, the H pencils are, where are we? They are, I just seem to find them lighter even to hold and they will be, um, the higher number that an H pencil goes the lighter it is on the page. So this, I think this one is an H, so it is the really, really light one here. But if you go for a 7H, a 7H will be even lighter again. And it, that is the way that they work. However, the B pencils, a 2B, which is the most commonly used pencil, where is it? Yeah, here. 2B is the one that's used by most artists all of the time. It is, it is the lighter side of the numbers. So the lower the, the lower the number on the B side, the lighter it is. But I use a 6B all the time because I am so, I, I love to make really dark marks, the same as I was showing you before, just to really define it. It's like marking my territory or something with a really dark pencil. So that is just to educate you a little bit on pencils. They come in different sizes and shapes, they can have grips on them so you don't you don't drop them. They can be a flat shape so that like carpenters and industrial workers can use them and they don't they don't fall off a table. And they can come as big and as fat as this one that I have here, which is the big graphite piece. Or they can be little stubs, which is often what happens with me. I have them about this size here. So hopefully over the next month I can educate you a bit more in pencils. And thanks for watching.